Hello everyone, Lady Pop Hunter here again with David behind the camera. Hi. <laughs> and today we got a special treat. This is all the way from PowerCon. We have the Masses of the Universe Filmation Classic Style. And we have three characters. They were made by Super 7, if you can see here in the bottom. Super 7 made these, but they were sold through PowerCon. And you had to go online, I think back in March or April, to pre-order. It takes a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, so these just came in. Um, really excited about it. And we're going to take a look at each one. Enjoyment! I don't want anyone to have any enjoyment. Okay, so first me. we're going to start off with Chopper. Chopper. And Chopper was an evil henchman of Skeletor, but he didn't get a lot of air time. Um, but he had, see, if you can see here, he has this huge right hand. He has super strength in his right hand, but for some odd reason, Skeletor did not decide to use him that yeah. much. Yeah, Filmation didn't want to have to draw too much. They keep using the same character sketches over and over again. Yeah, so you were left with like Merman and uh, Beast Man and all of those guys. And this is a better picture of him, a drawing of him and how he looked. Chopper he can't open his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a uh, look of uh, Jitsu. Yeah. That's who we thought he was at first and then we saw Chopper. So, uh, I got to look at that again because I don't remember. But then, you know, you can't remember every single thing. And he comes with a sword. And again, his powerful right hand. And that's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so does he, like, knock himself out while he's trying to shampoo his shoehorn baldness? Or, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and then we have Spike Ore. And you see they get all the boxes. And because oh, yeah. they packed this in a prior to mail shipping box instead of just putting a label on the shipping box mm -hmm. like like they did with Stridor. Yeah. These came in great shape. They did. And it says PowerCon on the back of those boxes. And we'll show you the back of the box here in a minute. Spike or. Spike or another henchman of Skeletor. Well, I I think Spiko was probably more with Hordak. Was it Hordak? I think he was more of a Hordak villain, if I remember correctly. No, it says Skeletor right here in the back. Oh, well. Intimidating henchman of Skeletor. But we have Spiko, and as you can see, he has uh, little this tried little it, tried it hand. Yeah, and his mace. In the front here. The classic orange mace. Although, this There's one is red. red. Yeah. It, the original one, I believe the mace is orange. Mm-hmm. So, he looks good. I like the coloring on it. Yeah, he's got a good filmation uh, look to him. Yeah. His, um... The coloring, the facial features. Because if you saw the, the newer ones... I like the newer ones that um, came out with the 200X. They have a... A better look to them I think but the classic ones are just you know timeless but this is spike or okay and then the last one we have is uncle M Montork and um, Dre Ellie now the only thing about uncle Montauk, you can't really, when he's straight on like that, you can't really see his face. You have to kind of turn him like this because they're they're facing each other. So you got to kind of turn him like yeah, this. He's wearing like glasses. Yeah. It's basically Oracle's Orco uncle with a beard. Yeah. And then as you can see, they come with their little wands. And there's something else here in the bottom. You can't really see it. But it's a bag, it's a bag. It's a, for the stand. Yeah, because they They float got two stands in there. To make them float. Yeah. So it comes with the stands. And then, of course, a little bit of a bio. Yeah, Just for each to get one by. of them. Yeah. And this is Oracle's little girlfriend. Oh, God. No, no. 
So this one is nice, a little two pack. So I thought this was a good, a good one. It did something a little bit different with the two of them. So yeah, and I, I like that they made figures that have not been done before. Yeah. So then you won't keep rehashing the same figures. And I just wanted to show you the outer mailer box. Um, classic Super 7 logo here in the side, Adult Collectors. The logo, Masters of the Universe logo. But on the back, it says PowerCon exclusive. And they're the ones that mailed these, not Super 7. Yeah. So that's so why that was good. Yeah, that yeah. worked out really well. Yeah. You and I have some unfinished business. Okay, and that is the new Filmation Classic Masters of the Universe set created by, made by Super 7, given out at the PowerCon. These are all, like I said, PowerCon exclusive. It was these four figures. Well, a two-pack, but it's four different figures came in three boxes because you got a two-pack in there. So tell us what you think as usual. Tell us what you think. Oh, David, do you have anything else? No, just, you know, of course, please uh, give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Check out some of the other videos. Yeah. Let us know what you think. And yeah. What kind um, of figures are you into? Do you collect the Super 7? Are you still hung up on the Maddie Mattel classics? Because she's got a lot of classics, too. Yeah. I get almost everything. Big on Masters. Masters of the Big universe. on Masters of the Universe. So. It's pretty much timeless, though, like you had said earlier. Yeah. But let us know what you think, as always. And again, thank you for watching.